So we knew the fallout was going to be bad. I don't know if we knew it was going to be this bad. What is going on, fellow board members? Welcome to another exciting episode here on Ord's Board. So today we are taking a look at an article from InsideTheMagic.net. Experts suggest that AMC theaters could be closing permanently. So I should have done this story last week. This article came out on April 4th, uh, and now it seems like everybody's talking about it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this video. So it's no surprise, guys, that AMC has run into financial trouble uh, with the theaters being closed, nobody going there. Um, Hollywood's having their issues as well. Uh, which is no surprise. Uh, so this last weekend, there was a movie that hit uh, digital, which should have been in theaters, and that's right, guys, that's Trolls World Tour. So I think that Trolls World Tour this past weekend definitely made a point, and that point being that when people are stuck inside, they are willing to pay $20 to see a digital movie that's supposed to be in theaters. Now, I know some of you guys out there say, $20, that's crazy. That's that's way too much. You know, that's more than what it costs to go see in, in a theater. Uh, you know, put it this way. Let's say you've got some kids, right? You've got a handful of kids. How much does it cost you to go to the theater, take these kids to the theater? Not to mention one's got to go to the bathroom, then the other one's got to go to the bathroom. It's a lot of hassle, okay? So you guys go to the movie. Uh, you're easily going to spend $80 on tickets, uh, and maybe you get a popcorn for everyone to share, which is, uh, you know, another $15. And then, you know, you got to have a soda or a drink to go with it, which is another $15. You guys see my point here. Eventually, this money is just going to stack up. Now, uh, I, however, did rent Trolls World Tour this past weekend on digital, paid $20. Um, and it was a heck of a lot cheaper uh, watching at the house. Uh, you know, we had snacks here already. Um, the kids could use the bathroom anytime they wanted to. Uh, and everybody had a great time and they loved the movie. All right, so I understand that not everybody's going to be okay with spending $20 on a digital movie that you only get for 48 hours, which I actually, actually think is pretty good. You get it for 48 hours. You can watch it as many times as you want within that 48 hours. Um, you know, you spend $20. You're probably going to watch it, you know, two or three times. Definitely get your money's worth. Uh, so this was definitely a cheaper option for me. And, and again, it's not going to be a cheaper option for everybody, uh, but it's nice, that, it's nice that this option exists. And so for those of you who haven't heard, uh, this was the biggest digital release, the, the, the most money made on a digital release, I think, of all time. Uh, so, uh, and granted, you know, there is the situation going on in the world today. The movie, the movie theaters are closed. So, you know, that definitely plays a factor in it. But I think what this is, is it's showing us that the theater industry from here on out will no longer ever be the same. So I think what's going to be happening here, guys, is we're going to see a lot of theaters close down. And instead of seeing like four or five theaters in a major city, maybe down to one or two theaters in a major city. Uh, and then I'm not sure what these little towns are going to do. You know, these small towns that have small theaters will probably completely shut down. So, you know, anybody who lives in a small town that wants to see a movie is going to have to travel to a bigger city to, to see a movie once, uh, you know, all of this is said and done. Uh, anyway, guys, with that being said, let's dive into the article and take a look. As per Inside the Magic Slab. Last AMC Theaters update, the company was planning to close all locations for 6 to 12 weeks. Now, debt rating agency SNP Global Ratings have downgraded AMC Entertainment's credit rating from B to CCC. Whatever that means. I don't know anything about how that works, guys. Uh, but so they have been downgraded in their credit rating. Interesting. This business credit rating is used to denote default imminent with little prospect for recovery. With the rise of streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and more recently Disney+, Plus, many movie theaters around the country have seen a reduction in business prior to the ongoing pandemic outbreak. So yeah, guys, we have seen a reduction, and, and that's just because of digital sales, guys. Um, you know, people don't want to go spend money. Uh, when they can, you know, at a theater, when they can watch it at their house for cheaper or, or uh, you know, have the ability to have snacks available. Uh, I know that the theaters have tried to increase sales by putting alcohol in their theaters, you know, so that adults could drink uh, during movies uh, and things like that. You know, I just think with what's going on in Hollywood or what has been going on in Hollywood over the last few years, people are not interested in spending money uh, to go to a place, again, when they could do it at their house or not spend money on it at all, period. You know, you guys see this with game sales. You know, digital game sales are going up, whereas physical copy sales are going down. And as a person, I like physical copies, personally. That, that's just my opinion. I also understand that digital makes sense. You know, uh, it's less of a footprint. Uh, however, how can you, you know, then you have the argument, how can you charge the same amount for, you know, not having the physical game where, you know, at one point, uh, they could shut servers down, and the game that I paid for, I don't have anymore. 
Uh, so there, there are all kinds of different factors into this, but it doesn't surprise me that they saw some, uh, you know, the decline in sales uh, before all this craziness. Since being forced to close due to federal and state social distancing regulations and shelter-in-place orders, movie theaters like AMC have fallen on even harder times. Financial analyst SNP Global stated, We expect AMC Entertainment Holdings Incorporated theaters will remain closed beyond June due to the impact of the global pandemic. We do not believe that AMC has sufficient sources of liquidity to cover its expected negative cash flows past midsummer. So we're talking maybe, what, the middle of July? Um, there's a good chance that AMC won't be able to survive then. So, uh, you know, these analysis companies are coming out and saying, yeah, I, I don't know if this is going to work, guys. We're going to have to downgrade you, unfortunately. The analysis continued that they would need a view that the box office would return to normalized levels in 2021. This is a long shot as film production studios have announced that they will be skipping theatrical releases entirely for certain upcoming movies, further hurting the box office. And we saw that this weekend, guys, again, with Trolls World Tour. Uh, you know, they made a ton of money off that movie digitally, and the theaters saw none of that. Most recently, Walt Disney Studios confirmed that Artemis Fowl, or Originally slated for a May 29, 2020 release date, will go straight to streaming on Disney Plus platforms. There's a lot of questions about what movies are going to be coming to Disney Plus. Uh, we have the Black Widow movie. Is that coming to Disney Plus? We don't really know. My guess is they'll probably do something along the lines of like Trolls uh, World Tour. You know, they're going to charge you uh, X amount of money, you know, probably $20 to see this movie. And you'll be able to have a whole, you know, your whole family sitting around to watch the TV. So, um, It'll be interesting to see what movies they do decide to release uh, straight to digital or straight to Disney Plus, that is. So I think that these other theaters will definitely be impacted just for the simple fact that even once they start releasing these bands, I think people are going to be a little cautious about going out still, uh, you know, to places with big groups of people. It's going to take a while for people uh, to, to get over the, the shock of this. Uh, and again, never, you know, experiencing anything like this, as far as I know, um, you know, at least since, uh, you know, the, the Spanish flu. Uh, so people are scared. They're going to be scared for a while to go out. And I definitely think that that is going to affect uh, these other theaters as well. Anyway, guys, that is the video. So AMC Theaters uh, will probably be closing here in the near future. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. If you'd like to see AMC uh, Theaters stay around, if you'd like to see them close, if you don't care either way, let me know in the comments down below, guys. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Select all. And don't forget to hit that subscription button, guys. It always helps. Uh, yeah, guys, so uh, no more AMC Theaters. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, I'm not upset at the moment. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, anyway, guys, I love all of you. We will catch you on the other side. Peace.